all right phase six what's going on guys it's your boy Reese. welcome back again to another episode of the podcast and today we are talking about Camino to also known as tower of god season two which to y'all's credit <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I, it's actually cooking i i thought when i watched season one it was amazing right and i forgot all about it because there's just been so much time that's gone past and i'm not a webtoon type of guy or as of recently i haven't been a webtoon type of guy until recently but then watching first episode of tower of god season two i'm like whoa like this is actually fire now let's just get this all out of the way okay do you still hate rachel for what she did to bam and betraying him because if you don't hate rachel still then you can't be a tower of god fan you just can't be because i forgot now nah, I, I, I could never forget do you know what i mean but obviously going on with my personal life finally watching season two of episode one i finally remembered oh yeah this bitch you know what i mean like she betrayed bam how could she betray bam when bam was just all about her but then going back again i had to remember that bam was a simp for rachel and i didn't agree with the behaviors that he was you know showing off towards her even back then so now that we're finally in the new season i'm really just gassed for it and i'm excited to see what happens in this season which is what's going to lead me to reading the webtoon and continuing the series even though um the season in the future of this season season two would would have been ended so bam is basically on what the 20th floor something like that and he meets this new fella that we're introduced into who is also attempting to climb the tower but he's weak and he's done it three times but apparently you get into a depth when you keep failing so this is his last attempt right and if not he's gonna have to pay the people that he owes one of his organs and unfortunately for human beings whether you are a breed or you have abilities or whatnot we're not able to regenerate our organs <laughs> so cool they get into this um level 20 thing you know what i'm saying floor and bam meets him bam's already cooked do you know what i'm saying he's already smacked up a few people who deemed to try to attack him before this fella entered the room and he's in the room with other people that are also trying to attempt to climb the tower so bam's in his emo era right now do you know what i mean god lee chill out mr doggy if you can hear that sorry about that but like Bam is in his emo era right now, right? And he's not trying to be friends with nobody in it. He's just cooking. We see that he's able to finally use his abilities or show off some form of abilities, which I don't believe we, was, we saw in season one. And it was really amazing. Basically, he can shoot off some form of projectile ability in terms of like waves. He can be very um, agile in terms of physicality. Um, I guess that comes with strength and he's also able to heal his injuries i don't know if it's possible for him to lose a limb and then be able to regenerate that or replace that but from the injuries that he received from the bombings that he got he was able to heal his wounds like nothing happened so it just goes to show that right now bam is in his godly era right now like that this guy is cooking i don't know what he did to get to this level you know what i mean maybe innately he's always had this ability but clearly he's done training from this point of season one to season two where you can see the difference in his attitude his behavior and all in all his aura do you know what i'm saying season two of tower of god is exciting for me because i don't actually watch or read webtoons a lot and i'm only attracted to the ones that are popular such as um hi what's it called uh what's that anime with the gods high school of gods i don't know you guys know what i'm talking about with mori uh solo leveling and now this one tower of god so i might get my webtoon era bag and read upon it but i gotta know is it worth continuously reading the webtoon let me know in the comment section box below are you feeling this bruv does bam do something crazy to rachel bruv and don't tell me you like rachel in the comment section box below because we'll be beefing you know what i'm saying it's been your boy russo mr 36 and whether you're watching or listening to this in the morning afternoon or evening make sure to have a good day man i'm out peace